Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. In today's video we're gonna flip through one of my old sketchbooks from 2016. This was the year where I challenged myself with trying to complete one sketchbook each month. So let's start with the flip through of this sketchbook. I really really like how this one looks from the outside. This kind of texture imitating visual is kind of nice. Most of them are from paper blanks. This was my guilty pleasure back then, getting myself paper blanks sketchbooks to fill. And uh, let's flip through this one. Maybe I can flip through the others in the future if you enjoy this old sketchbooks of mine. Here are some eye studies. This is one of the typical parts I have in my sketchbook all the time. Some notes. Oh, this was uh, <laughs> something I really enjoyed doing at this time of, of my life is collecting old tiles from all around and making some frottage. Some loose sketches, more sketches, sketches and some material. Collage. Some faces. I remember when I drew, did drew them back then. Uh, I was really, really proud about how they turned out. Some more unfinished drawings here. More unfinished drawings. This was a time when I often started a page but didn't finish it because it wasn't turning out the way I imagined it. Some collage, Polaroid pictures, some more free stuff with some charcoal. Trying to envision some rooms. This one as well. about experimenting all these sketchbooks were about experimenting loosening up this was kind of uh, the gist why i challenged myself to fill a sketchbook each month to loosen up and to not put so much pressure on every page of my sketchbook to make it perfect just fill up some space and leave some empty obviously um, don't know. yeah another sketch I had great visions and then got stuck more of those this was really in the phase where I was uh, building up a portfolio for for art school to and the sketchbooks was one of the challenges one of my courses have given to me. It was about yeah, loosening up, finding the own voice and just doing something to, to have a sketchbook to include into your portfolio to show the professors that you are working on something or thinking about something that is besides the whole perfect pictures of, of the uh, portfolio themselves. So I did uh, a bunch of collage and gluing back then because I wasn't that good and skilled at drawing. And um, knowing that this would be seen by professors and so on, I kind of often used the safe space of collaging and including some other materials to make the pages more interesting, I think. And, uh, included some of the stuff I did outside the sketchbook and, and materials, uh, some model works, <laughs> some experimental little faces. These ones I quite like till today. 
and I really enjoy doing them. It's a perfect warm-up page to, to fill with some funny shaped faces. Some more different materials. <laughs> My Instagram grid from, from these times. I was quite more into photography and really wanted to include this kind of everyday life logbook into, into the sketchbook. Don't know what I did with the page that I ripped out here. A loose face drawing and some research and photos of the model I built. More research for this temple structure and pictures of the final product pictures of the final model another concept idea I tried to to make and kind of failed yeah my drawing skills weren't the best at the, these times I really wanted to do some aquarelle drawings for a bunch of water these pages aren't the ideals some concepts for buttons another drawing more drawings, faces and eyes. This was a time when I was wa watching American Horror Story The Coven. I really remember this. Here I was experimenting with the colors of soap bubbles. More The Coven drawings, faces, abstract. More faces with some texture. I really think I was kind of trying to make up for less skills with being extra tedious about my work and, and stuff I did. Don't know really if it was the right thing to do. I think it would have been better to just loosen up and, and relax a bit. But this was the thing I was trying with this sketchbooks kind of some plans for my new room and how to furnish it yeah and this is kind of the end of my june sketchbook this was my june 2016 I really liked this challenge I put myself up to, to fill a sketchbook each month. Maybe I should try it again sometimes in the future. It would be interesting to see how they turn out today, like six years later. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, a thumbs up would make me really happy. And if you want to join me on my creative journey, hit the subscribe button down below. And leave a comment down below if you want to see more of my old sketchbooks. I also have some sketchbooks I took a longer time on. Not only the ones from 2016 where I did one each month. If you want to see those, let me know in the comments down below.